Steam diesel hybrids were an international experiment, and as many countries began to utilise the power of diesel in their railways, many types of hybridisation were developed. The No. 8000 Stalinets was an experimental steam diesel hybrid locomotive developed by the Voroshilovrad Works in Ukraine from 1939 to 1948. Only one was ever constructed, and as such, very little information about it has survived to this day. The No. 8000 was designed to have a pair of opposed pistons on each side of the frame outside of the wheels. At low speeds, the superior tractive force of steam was used to start the train. Once a speed of 20 km an hour was reached, the central chamber would be isolated from the flow of steam and diesel would be injected. The pistons would remain double acting, with steam powering the compression stroke from the outside and diesel combustion powering the expansion stroke from the inside. The diesel cycle was two stroke, allowing a power stroke every rotation, and as either side of the engine was offset 180 degrees, rather than a steam train's usual 90, this meant that the diesel power stroke would not overlap preventing potentially damaging vibrations being transferred to the track or drivetrain. Due to the engine's low operating speed, about 60 RPM at 20 km an hour, the natural ventilation of the diesel chamber would be inadequate to clean the exhaust in preparation for the next cycle. At the front of the boiler, above the pilot, is a toroidal air chamber that's called the gullet. The chamber is fed by a slot-shaped ram air intake, this chamber contains slightly compressed air. From the base of the gullet, a pipe sends intake air rearwards and is directed into the central chambers. This air aids in the extraction of exhaust gases at low speeds during a process known as scavenging. During scavenging, the diesel exhaust valve is open, and in some cases, exhaust steam from the outside of the pistons on the opposite side of the engine can flow backwards, resulting in a cloud being spat forward from the gullet intake. The rest of the intake air is diverted into the firebox and blows fresh air through the coal grate to improve combustion. This is required because the cylinder body is large and greatly impedes the regular airflow into the firebox. A major priority of the number 8000's design seems to be exhaust management. As the diesel cycle essentially replaces a steam exhaust cycle, steam exhaust happens only once per wheel rotation per side. This reduces the overall draft through the engine and lowers the efficiency of the coal combustion. The second pipe is directed from the front of the train that is not fed by the gullet but by a separate opening called the side vane, directed into a chamber just before the smokestack. This pipe diverts compressed intake air into a draft system to aid in fire tube circulation at low speeds. However, this fresh air draft pipe prevents the installation of blinkers or smoke deflectors. At low speeds, and with a low draft capacity, the smoke from the funnel is very likely to fall into cabin windows. To prevent this, a third pipe leading from the gullet is directs incoming air into the smokestack and encourages upward flow. Exhaust gas is then lifted over the cabin.